Guard dogs are often perceived as fierce protectors, ready to defend their territory at any cost. While this image holds true for many breeds, not all dogs are suited for the role of a guard dog. In fact, some breeds may possess characteristics that make them less than ideal for this purpose. In this video, we'll explore the top five worst guard dog breeds, debunking common misconceptions, and shedding light on why these breeds may not fit the traditional mold of a guard dog. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number five, Golden Retriever. Often hailed as one of the friendliest and most loyal dog breeds, the Golden Retriever's gentle nature is precisely what disqualifies it as an effective guard dog. Known for their love of people and outgoing personalities, Golden Retrievers are more likely to greet intruders with a wagging tail than with a defensive stance. While they may bark at strangers, their natural inclination is towards making friends rather than warding off threats. Their innate desire to please and their tendency to seek out human interaction make them unsuitable for guarding duties, as they may prioritize seeking affection over protecting property. Number four, Beagle. Beagles are beloved for their keen sense of smell and affectionate demeanor, but they lack the size and assertiveness typically associated with guard dogs. These small to medium-sized hounds were originally bred for tracking prey, not for protecting property. Beagles are more likely to follow their noses than to stand guard, making them ill-suited for security purposes. Their friendly disposition and sociable nature make them more inclined to approach strangers with curiosity rather than to deter them with intimidation. While they may vocalize their presence with their characteristic baying, beagles are more likely to welcome intruders as potential playmates rather than as threats to be confronted. Number three, Basset Hound. With their droopy ears and soulful eyes, Basset Hounds may not strike fear into the hearts of intruders. While they possess a deep, booming bark, their laid-back temperament and tendency to follow scent trails make them poor choices for guard duty. Basset hounds are more likely to nap on the porch than to patrol the premises, making them better suited as family companions than as protectors. Their affectionate nature and love for lounging around make them more interested in seeking out a cozy spot for a snooze than actively monitoring their surroundings for potential threats. As natural scent hounds, they're often more preoccupied with investigating intriguing smells than with maintaining vigilance over their territory. Number two, Pug. Though they may be small in size, pugs have big personalities and a playful demeanor. However, their friendly disposition and lack of territorial instincts make them ineffective guard dogs. Pugs are more likely to greet strangers with enthusiasm rather than suspicion making them better suited for cuddling on the couch than for patrolling the perimeter. Their jovial nature and affectionate behavior towards all they encounter make them more inclined to seek attention and affection from intruders rather than to deter them through intimidation or aggression. Number one, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Adored for their affectionate nature and silky coats, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are beloved family pets rather than guard dogs. These gentle lap dogs thrive on human companionship and are more likely to lick an intruder's hand than to scare them away. While they may bark to alert their owners of potential threats, their small size and trusting demeanor make them unsuitable for guarding property. Their innate desire for affection and tendency to seek out human interaction render them more inclined to view strangers as potential playmates rather than threats. It's important to note that the effectiveness of a guard dog depends not only on breed characteristics, but also on proper training and socialization. While the breeds mentioned above may not possess the innate traits typically associated with guard dogs, individual dogs within these breeds can still excel in roles such as watchdog or companion animal. In conclusion, while certain breeds may not fit the traditional mold of a guard dog, it's essential to recognize and appreciate each dog for their unique qualities and abilities. Whether they excel in obedience trials, therapy work, or simply bring joy to their families, every dog has the potential to make a valuable contribution to society, regardless of their breed or intended role. Thanks for watching.